Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, we've had a few issues with our Wi-Fi here, uh, but it looks like we're good now. So here we go. I am, you are, we are tripping with Allison Heinemeyer, co-director of Habitable Spaces. Hey Allison. Hey, how's it going? Good, what's going on? We're about to bake some bread. All right. So today we are using a, what's this thing called again? It's called a banneton basket. A banneton basket. And what is the purpose of this? It's a proofing basket. So you um, proof your bread in it. The bread rises and then it takes on the form of the basket. And what does proofing mean? Um, rising. Yeah. And um, so you've prepared the dough in advance, correct? Mm -hmm. and it's the French country loaf mm -hmm. made with a sponge in the beginning. If you want the recipe, you could just text trip and we'll, we can maybe upload it or something. Um, it's a it's a pretty simple recipe. It's made with a sponge, which sits overnight. And then you add flour and more yeast and a little bit of uh, sugar to it, um, to make the loaf. And okay. I've divided the two, this loaf in half to make two. Excellent. So now what we're going to do is turn the basket over into these pre-prepared pans, which have sesame seeds and olive oil. Great. On them. So. Does it come in different shapes or is that the only shape it comes in with the spiral? Um, they, I think they have rectangular ones. This is the most common though. Yeah. So this is what it does. It does a little ring. Wait, let's see if I can get that. Hold on. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ring. And um, do you cut? I've seen some pictures where they cut. They slit the top a little yes, bit. Yes, we're about to do that. Okay, great. Um, actually, for anybody using a banneton basket, it took me a minute to figure this out. You flour the inside of your basket, but you don't use flour. You use well, you use flour. You use Rice flour, Ooh. very important. Otherwise, it will stick. Okay. So that's tip rice of the day, y'all. Use rice flour and not regular. Yeah. So I've got a little razor blade here. I'm not the best at this, but we're gonna slice our bread. Beautiful. And that'll help it rise. Cool. Where did you get yours? This. The um, basket. Oh, I ordered them online. Oh. Um, <clears throat> you can find them. How'd anywhere. you find out about it? Um, a friend of mine, Kelsey St uh, Featherstone, uses uses them, and I just always loved the way they looked. So I was like, I need some of those baskets. What did you do before that? Before um, these? we would just make them in cast iron with a lid on. Okay. Um, not ringless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, cool. But yeah, so now we're gonna stick them in the oven, and um, another trick to getting crusty bread is um, steam and since we don't have a, a steam oven um, we're gonna spray it for the first 15 minutes every couple of minutes steamy dreamy so I've got the oven preheating at 475 mm -hmm. right here okay. that's just to get it really nice and hot and then we are going to turn the temp down to 425 okay <clears throat> Put those guys in the oven. And create a bunch of steam. All right, so you just spray it on top. Yeah, you just spray it in. So now every couple of minutes, I'll stand by the stove for the next 15 minutes and just spray it every couple of minutes. Oh, okay. Um, do you want me to do that for you? Do you want to go off and do other things? No, I don't <laughs> trust myself. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, all right, so we've got um, we've got the steam going on here. See if I can get that. And um, we're gonna keep uh, keep at it for about the next 15 minutes, and then I will uh, do a round two, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Awesome. Thank you, Allison. You're welcome. See you later. Bye. Bye.